Hey everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be going over the 2018 exam for macroeconomics, question number two. Let's get on with the question. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! This question starts off with Uche land. They have full employment, which means they're in long-run equilibrium. And the government decides to reduce taxes on earnings from interest. Interest is what you pay when you borrow, and it's what you earn when you save. By lowering taxes on the interest earned, it increases the incentive to save. What's that going to do to the amount of savings that households have? It's going to increase, because more incentive to save means people save more. All you need to do is just state that as a fact. Private savings increase, and then you'll have your point. For part B, we have to draw a loanable funds market graph. You start off by drawing your axes. Label them quantity of loanable funds on the x-axis and the real interest rate on that y-axis. Have a downward sloping demand curve, upward sloping supply curve. Label that equilibrium real interest rate and also that equilibrium quantity of loanable funds. Now, because of the increase in savings, we are going to shift the supply curve to the right. Savings is one of the primary components of that supply curve in the loanable funds market. You shift it over to the right, and that will cause a decrease in the real interest rate. Make sure you show that decrease in the real interest rate. I also advise you show an increase in that quantity of, an, of loanable funds as well. That's all you need to do to get these points. Now part C has two components. The first component asks us to identify what will happen to aggregate demand as a result of the decrease in the interest rate that we just identified. Interest rates and investment are inversely related. And the number one thing you see on the AP exam when there's a change in the interest rate is what happens to investment. In this case, investment is going to increase and investment is one of the components of aggregate demand. C, consumption, I, G, gross investment, G, government purchases, and X, N, or net exports. Those are your shifters of that aggregate demand curve. In this case, the investment is increasing, and that's going to shift your aggregate demand curve, curve to the right as an increase. So in order to get this point, you need to say that aggregate demand increases because, that's the explain portion here, the lower interest rates will increase gross investment. And then you'll have your point. The second part of question C asks us to identify what will happen to the potential real GDP output of Unche land. Here, we just saw an increase in gross investment. And there are a few things that change the potential output of an economy. Those are productivity, technology, quality of resources, and the quantity of resources. Increases in gross investment are going to impact the quantity of resources. Gross investment is primarily purchases of capital goods. Capital goods are used in the production of all goods, and therefore we will see an increase in the potential output for Uche land. So the answer here is that potential GDP output will increase because, make sure you say because here, as it calls for an explain point, greater investment leads to an increase in physical capital or the capital stock. And there you have it. If you got all of that right, you are definitely on your way to acing your next economics exam. If you want to support this channel, make sure you like and subscribe below. Then head over to ReviewEcon.com where there are lots of review activities and games to help you practice the skills you've been learning in economics. If you want to support this channel even more, make sure you head over to ReviewEcon.com and purchase the total review packet with everything you need to know for the AP Microeconomics and Macroeconomics exams. Thank you. I'll see you next time.